Well, hi everyone, and welcome back to another stream. It has been a long week of no streams, so I figure Saturday is a great day for a two, a twofer, a two for one, a twofer, yeah, a twofer. Today, uh, now in round two of this Saturday stream, we're gonna play some trombone champ. Y'all can thank RJ City for this one. He gifted me this game and I thought, are you sure? Are you sure this is a good choice? And I was like, mm. but I gotta say guys, when reviews on Steam say overwhelmingly positive, sometimes I agree with it, sometimes I don't. But I gotta say 100% this game is overwhelmingly positive. It is so fun. It is so stupid. And it has so many Easter eggs and hidden things in it that it just makes you want to keep digging deeper and deeper and deeper into the game. So, it's also incredibly difficult. I'm gonna warn y'all. I'm bad at it. This is why I wanted to wait until the end of the stream before I played this game. Because I'm bad. I'm really, really bad at this game. But it's hilarious. And I, I can't stop laughing when I play. Okay? I can't. It's that's And then I just, it's like I continue to get worse because I'm laughing and, you know. Oh, hello, boy. Are you wanting my attention? Now, listen, boy. I cannot fetch you while I'm tromboning. Your Auntie Amber's homeboy. Are you going to have to go upstairs? Maybe. All right, let's get caught up, Sabertooth. Thank you so much for being here. Warming up the chat. Robert, hello. See him, Pep. Sussy, you just looked at your cake. I hope it was a wonderful... Are we starting a band? No, no, we're just a solo trombonist. Is that what they're called? A tromboner? No, not a trombone. Definitely not a tromboner, right? Please, God, not a tromboner. Uh, diabetes, hello. We're back. No, we back, not sort of. We are back. We are back. Dan Lee, hello again. Sussy, thank you so much for the super chat. Praise the celestial body of your choice. Oh, thank you so much. Such a good cake. You made such a good cake. Amazing. I'm so happy for you, Sussy. I can't wait. Please, I want to know how it tastes. I want to know what's great about it. What would you do differently if you could? Was it difficult? Listen, apple crumble sounds very complicated to me. All right, baking? I'm not good at like baking like that. I can bake bread, but like... Desserts? Nah, I can't. What? This? <clears throat> Here we go. Thank you, RJ. Indeed, thank you, RJ. Jenzilla, hello. Happy Saturday to you. Thank you for being here. Best part of this game is it's first try. I never die. Every time, because you don't die. Exactly. You can never die. So first try, never die. Every time. Alex, hello. I'm glad everyone's on the same page with me as far as a uh, tromboner. Not, not good. Not what we want. Um, boy, boy, am I going to take you upstairs, boy? Boy, please. Is it the after? This is this is actually his afternoon walk time. This is when he starts to get that energy because he's used to going outside and walk. It is pouring the rain, so that ain't happening. Sorry, boy. Today. It's trombone champ. So I just streamed for like, I don't know, it was like two and a half, maybe maybe even closer to three hours. I think it was close to three hours. Um, playing Rogue Genesia, Gen Genesia, I don't know how you say it to be perfectly honest, but it's really fun. It's a lot like Vampire Survivors. I'm super addicted to it. I wanted to share my addiction with everyone. I finally beat the second world that I've been stuck on, which was great. I thought I had done it, but then I hadn't. I, I, I had made it there several times, so I'd never actually beaten it. Um, so it felt really good to do that on stream, but I, uh, you know, it's been a long week of no streams, and I really wanted to treat you guys and treat myself. And so I thought a nice short stream of Trombone Champ would be just the way to wrap up a good Saturday of entertainment. All right. What up, Spawn? Spone, just let me applaud you for a moment for your Isis Puppy sign that made its way onto TV this week. Thank you so much. That brought me so much joy when I saw it. Really, genuine, true joy. I cannot explain it. 
it was just glorious, and I appreciate it. I didn't know who did it. I think it was Ty5 that told me it was you. So thank you for that spawn. Mad Dogs for life. Isis Puppy, her face. Oh, it's just the best sign. Hey, hey, hey. Boy, okay. Look. Ah! No, sir. No, sir. Upstairs? Do you want to go upstairs? Huh? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, you little grease pig. Get up here. Ugh. Boy, do you want to go upstairs? I will take you upstairs. You got to calm down. Can you, oh. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, baby boy. Oh, the mama the baby. Oh, the mama the baby. Oh, the mama baby. Oh, mama baby. Oh, dear mama baby. Hi, boy. Oh, I love this boy so good. Hims was also very excited to see puppy on screen. Gives him something to, you know, look forward to achieving in life. Maybe one day your face will be on a shine at a wrestling show, boy. Oh, my goodness. It's Slug Boy. Slug. Mr. Sluggington. Mm. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Mama, baby. Hi, boy. I love you so good. I love you so good. Oh, my goodness. Okay, time for bed, boy, just like this. It's time for sleeps. Oh, my goodness. Boy. This boy had a big adventure with the slug. I told the story on the first stream. I can tell the uh, abbreviated version. He hit a bone outside. Went out and retrieved it after like a month. Was chewing furiously on it. I thought it was hilarious. I called him Mr. Suckington because it sounded like he was just sucking on the bone. Adorable. He's doing it next to my head. And I'm like, boy, stop, boy, quit, boy. And I grab the bone, and I feel something squishy inside. I'm like, ugh, and I pick it up, and inside the bone is a giant slug. Just like, bleh, bleh, just being a slug in there. And I'm like, bleh, bleh, horrified, absolutely horrified. I dispose of the slug, don't ask how, I just did. And then immediately Googled what happens. Um, if a dog, you know, licks or eats a slug, it ain't good. And for the record, it ain't good when humans do it either. Um, there's a horrifying story of a teenage boy that ate a slug on a dare and he got a parasitic lungworm that eats his brain and put him in a coma and he eventually died seven years later. Absolutely tragic, horrific story. Don't eat weird shit. Just don't do it. Um, but the, the scary part is the same thing you have to your dog. And don't worry, I called the vet immediately. He has a uh, test scheduled in four to six weeks. Well, it's in four weeks. Apparently four to six weeks is the window in which they can actually pick it up and get rid of this parasite if he did come in contact with it, which they said is incredibly rare, but that they, but the good news is I know that he was exposed. We can test for it. If he was, it is very easy to get rid of it. So that's the plan, the boy's fine, um, but he did, try desperately to eat a slug. TJ Davis was first chair trombone player. That's amazing. Well, you're going to love this game, TJ, and you're also going to hate me playing it because I'm terrible. All right. It's going to hurt your ears. All right, boy. Okay, boy. You may go now, boy. <laughs> you be good boy. You be good boy. Or you have to go upstairs. You understand me? Yes. I mean it. <sighs> okay. I have puppy hairs in my mouth. Alright. So, let's do this. We're going to play. Um, I like Beezerly because I like the white hair. 
Y'all, I can't wait for my hair to go gray. Or silver, as my mom refers to it. I'm not gonna do- I'm not gonna fight it. I'm just like so stoked for it. It looks amazing. Okay, we're gonna do the warm-up first. Warm up your trombone. Okay, the trombone is not related to the French horn. They are just friends. <laughs> it's so good! Okay, wait, wait. Oh god, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Wait, what are you doing? Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Not too bad, not too bad. I can always hit the first one. Oh, I got champ! Oh! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Hey! We got the A! We got the A! I earned 311 toots. <laughs> All right, that was the warm up. Let's go. Okay, so look, you go back, you spend your toots on, where's it at? Collect. These cards, which are just filled with like trombone facts. 16th century Italian painter who painted what may have been the, far, the first artistic depiction of a woman playing a trombone in the panel Apollo with the Muses from 1520. Excerpted de blah, uh, blah, excerpted above. Jesus. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I got 537 toots um, and 47 turds. So let's buy a sack for 499 toots. <laughs> toots. It's adorable. What? Do you want to go upstairs? All right, what do we get? Pew, 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 pew. All right, Frank Schubert. This Austrian composer with an immense body of work is considered one of the best of the 19th century. Although he wasn't widely appreciated until after his death, his one up, one down collar style allowed him to more easily consume hot dogs. Fascinating. Al Gray, this American jazz trombonist who played with Count Basie was known for his plunger mute technique and literally wrote a book on plunger techniques. As an American, he probably ate a ton of hot dogs. I have no idea why they're talking about hot dogs. Bill Watrous, popular jazz trombonist of the modern era who studied with jazz pianist Herbie Nichols while serving in the U.S. Navy and was well known among trombonists for his technical skill in pleasant sound. Boy, he made it to 2018. Damn. Mozart Music Storm. This Austrian mage holds the key to the earwing of Tempo Keep. He will light you up with the sound of his sweet keys. There we go. Are any of those duplicates? Yeah, this one. So you can turn duplicates into turds. There we go. Are you sure you want to turn this card into a turd? Yes. Boy, I mean it. You want to go upstairs, boy. Okay, any other duplicates? Yep, right there. Al Gray. What up, D-Cell? Okay, um, very nice. Okay, we don't have enough to build a card yet, but we will soon. Let's play more songs. Play. Let's start with something kind of easy, but harder than the warm-up. Take me to the ball game, old gray mare. I'm Klein. Trombone Skies. Sugar Plum Fairy. Oh lord. See, five stars. No, 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 no. Baboons. There's also like something weird with baboons in this game. I don't understand. Oh, Zarathustra. This is fun. This is fun. You guys know this one. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. Hold on. We got this. Prehistoric trombones were 40 feet long. Excuse me? 
Okay, hold on. Where are we at? Get me here. Here we go. Bah. Amazing! <laughs> oh my god! Get it together! You got it! Yeah! Oh, I blew it! I had it for a second. Oh, come on! Beautiful. This is Trombone Champ, JJK. And I'm obsessed with it. Um... Do you play keyboard or controller? I play keyboard, unless I'm playing on the Steam Deck in which I found a controller scheme that allows you to use the gyro controls in the Steam Deck, and I find that to be by far the easiest way to play it, like the most natural. I actually feel kind of like I'm playing an instrument a little bit. It's so insane. Mouse is so hard, so hard. All right, ooh, I don't think I've ever gotten an S on that before. All right, let's go. Ooh, I got a star on it, very nice. Long tail limbo. Let's find something that's like two or three stars. Star spangled, no thank you. Oh my God, Jesus. Hava Nagila, no thank you, not yet. We need a little bit more warm-ups. Stars and stripes, scabbard, oh Jesus. Beethoven's fifth. God save the king, here we go, this is it. No, no, not touch screen. It's not touch screen. And it's actually not at all. It's the gyro. You tilt the machine, the actual Steam Deck, back and forth. It's amazing. You got an S. Four S's and you unlock the baboon. What now? What, RJ? How do you know that? Okay, hold on. I gotta focus. I'm doing good, y'all! Oh, it's so good! Come on, S, 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 damn it! It's all right. Okay, listen. Listen. I'm starting easy. Y'all, like, really easy. Just wait. Oh, Canada. All right. Since RJ got me this game, we're going to play Oh, Canada in honor of RJ. Cows love the sound of a trombone because they are smart. Yeah, these are amazing facts. Oh, Jesus. I'll try not to butcher it. <laughs> oh, 
god, Nasty's right. Oh, it's so good. Is that a beaver in the background? Is a beaver like a national animal of some sort? Oh, eh? Oh, come on! I gotta get A. I gotta get A. I'm gonna retry it. I gotta get an A on this. I gotta do RJ justice. If you make a mistake in this game, it's a guarantee it makes you laugh. It is, because it's like, <laughs> it's just stupid. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is worse. Oh, so, so bad. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Whew. I don't think I got it. Ah! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Alright, one more time. Third time's a charm. First try, never die. And then we'll just have to come back and, and try again some other time. Is everyone enjoying Trombone Champ? Because I am. Nada, our home and native land. That's all I know. True patriot love in all of. I can't sing it and do it at the same time because I don't know the words. Oh. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Oh, no. I'm getting worse. I need to stop. Big Daz, thank you so much. I'll, I'll read the message after. Thank you, Big Daz. I see it as a golden tribute. I appreciate you. Oh, Jesus. This is officially the funniest thing I've ever seen. I know. I am totally aware of this. And I'm so, like, I can't stop playing it, even though I'm really bad at it. Okay, we're gonna have to circle back around to O Canada. Maybe after some practice, I can try it again. Oh, my God. Seven Wounds, hello! Thank you, guys. Disgrace to a nation, says RJ. Sorry, RJ. I tried, okay? I was trying really hard. Okay, what do we got? Trombone Fuerte. Jesus, nine stars? No. Old Lang Syne. No, thank you. Not the warm-up ball game. Uh, let's go to the ball game. We can, we can do that. I got it. I got it. It's a three-star. I can handle it. I'm sweating, y'all. I'm literally sweating, y'all. All right. Take me out. Ready? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's painful. 
I'm sorry. You can get through this, come on! I'm talking about. Whew. Dan Lee is also from Canada. Sorry for butchering the song. Appreciate you uh, understanding. I have to play Ragnarok to show how people how bad I am. Actually, really good at Ragnarok. I haven't played that for a long time. I should I should throw that one up again. That's a great fun game as well. And yeah, I mean, listen, being bad is part of what makes it funny and fun. Old Grey Mare, Ein Klein, by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Oi. The serenade was written for strings, but we've added trombone and trap drums. Mozart would have approved. Oh. Fury! Oh wow, I like how it shows like... <laughs> Alright, let's try Ein Klein. It's gonna kick my ass, but we're gonna have to do our best. Despite its name, the trombone does not have any bones. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. Jesus. Hey, I got a B. I did better than last time. That's all we do. That's all we do. That's all we need, you know? Let's see. We got any other it was trombone skies? This electronic track is an attempt to capture what it feels like to play the trombone, but it's a lot. It's two and a half minutes, y'all. Lordy mercy. <sighs> we need to see RJ play this. I would love to do a stream with RJ and I taking turns playing this to see who can do better. Let's just plan it. Let's just make it happen. All right. Good morning, Steve. Hope you're ready. There are between two and four spiders living inside the average trombone. Oh, RJ wouldn't like that at all. No, no. Not a good one. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Okay. 
I don't know this one. Oh, type five, I got it. I'll read it after. Whoops, wrong way. This is badass. Here we go. Trombone in the sky. Oh. oh. Sky. And it makes me want to fly so high. It makes me want to fly so high. Trombone in the sky. This is amazing! I cannot sing and play at the same time though, I need to stop. Ugh. Oh Jesus. Oh God. Oh um, Jesus. High five. High five for another member as a sub. Thank you so, or as a member. Thank you so much, High Five. One on top of many, many, many. All the way back to like 2016. So I appreciate that, High Five. And for leading the mod squad diligently all these years. I appreciate you. <sighs> Stretch and get a drink. I know, I need to have a, take a drink out of my OK Gamer water bottle. It is... I'm sweating, y'all. Oh, my God. Diabetes, thank you for 19 months. You caught BS on some of those nasty man ratings. Right? There, that was pretty good. I think it's OK. I think they need to give me more credit. OK? Get your OK Gamer water bottle right now on okgamer.net or click the link in the description to take you right to the T-String store where you can look at all the merch and get yours. Oh man, it's nice and cool. I love it. Trombone in the sky and it makes me wanna fly so high. That's a really pretty catchy song, okay? The Sugar Plum Fairy. Oh my goodness. Little Tchaikovsky here. We got this. Let's do this. Okay, gotta stretch. Oh, oh. Oh, actually, let's do this. I have so many toots. I need to I need to trade my toots in. Cause I think you get something if you collect all the cards. Oh yeah, look at all them toots. That's right. Buy as many as you can. Oops. There we go. There we go. The slide. This is the funny part of the trombone that goes in and out. Note goes up. Note goes down. Without this, you don't have a trombone. You just have a trumpet. Disgusting. More things should have slides on them. Yep. Musorgoski. This Russian composer, well known for A Night on Bald Mountain and Pictures at an Exhibition, strove to create a uniquely Russian music and therefore refused to eat hot dogs. What is the obsession with hot dogs? Cloud de Bussy, this French composer. And look at this, there's red letters here. This game has so many weird secrets and Easter eggs in it. Sometimes considered the first impressionist composer, rebelled against classical forms of compositions and strove to create new modes, sometimes based off his own poetry. Bella Bartok, considered one of the most important composers of the 20th century among Hungary's greatest composers. He also helped create in ethnomusicology. Is that a real thing? Through his study of folk music. Oh my god, The Folksman, another one of my favorites of all time. He studied, but never ate hot dogs. Wow. 
Jack T. Garden. I think that's a new one. This self-taught jazz trombonist was a prominent performer in the pre-bebop era and performed along Louis Armstrong, specializing in New Orleans-style jazz. He could eat a dozen hot dogs in one sitting. Melba Liston. This Missouri-born jazz trombonist and composer was the first woman trombonist to play in big bands during the 1940s and later worked arrangements for Motown records. She could eat 10,000 hot dogs in one sitting. Amazing. Glenn Miller, this trombonist and band leader, extremely popular in the 1940s, died while flying to France to entertain U.S. troops during World War II. His aircraft disappeared over the English Channel during bad weather. Well, that's tragic. Oh my god, the red letter spelled hot dog. That's what it was. And this leading Russian-born composer, pianist, and conductor was one of the most popular of the late Romantic period. When he ordered hot dogs, he'd request them as, as long as my name, please, and everyone would laugh. <laughs> Steve, thank you for 25 months of pro gamer status. You are legendary, my friend. Thank you very, very much. Your gaming schedule is about to explode with the games coming out between now and the end of the year. What are you looking forward to the most, Steve? I want to know. Never eat hot dogs. Poor guy. Listen, I love hot dogs, but I love a good brat more than anything. Ooh, with some good sauerkraut. Oh! The best. A little sauerkraut and mustard. Mm 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 mm. I don't think any of those were repeats. Richard Strauss, I'm pretty sure that's a repeat. The leading German composer of operas and symphonic poems was arguably best known for the piece of also Spruck Therathustra. Whether, whether or not he ate hot dogs is unknown. One of the most powerful tromboner cards, the Blue Eyes White Baboon, is a representation of the treble clef as it relates to Babi, the Egyptian deification of the sacred old world Hamadras Baboon. What? The bass clef. Ooh. Favored clef of the primordial baboon bass master Ben. This clef represents dark. But there can be no dark without light. And then Arthur Pryor. The prodigious Missouri-born trombonist who wrote some of the most well-known trombone pieces, played with Seuss's band, and was a prolific composer of band music. He could eat nine hot dogs in one sitting. Any more? Oh yeah, we got it. Oh, Al Gray, that's a repeat. Uh, baboon, I'm not sure. These vi virile old world monkeys, often, often called the trombones of the animal kingdom, ah, are the descendants of Bobby, the bull of the baboons, who's a relative of the primordial baboons that watch over the twin toots vessels. Oh, Claude is a repeat. Sergei Prof Prokofiev, I'm not sure. Oh, that is a repeat. The Soviet pianist, I remember him. Cloud. Richard Strauss, Bella Bartok, all of these, Mebel List, and all repeats. But we know what we do with repeats. We turn them into toots. Or turds, sorry. <sighs> all duplicates. And then we can make the cards with the turds, you see? Uncultured Barbarian, hello! Also, Sprock there, Thustra, better known as the theme from 2001, and Rick Flair's interest music. I played it earlier on the trombone. It's incredible. I, I think that's the first one I've gotten S on. Like, better than A. So, thank you, Uncultured Barbarian. I appreciate your membership for 17 months, or however long it's been. For an uncultured barbarian, you sure seem quite cultured. Major FOMO, hello! This is Trombone Champ, and listen. It's weird, but it's amazing. So just buckle up, all right? That's all I can say, buckle up. Okay, now we have so many turds, we can make some cards right now, all right? So let's just make the ones we're missing. Build the card, yep. Yep, 
See what you can do with turds? Gustav Mahler, this Austrian-born composer, was one of the leading conductors of his time. Due to his Jewish ancestry, his compositions were banned throughout much of Europe during the Nazi era, but they later achieved wide popularity. Oh, it seems like so much always happens after their death. Isn't that sad? Build the card. Roswell Rudd, legendary tromboner and composer who worked in free and avant-garde jazz, taught in ethnomusicology, performed with Malian and Mongolian musicians, and could eat 900 hot dogs per nanosecond. Wonderful. Impressive. Sackbutt. Did you know that the early trombones from the Renaissance and Baroque eras are sometimes called sackbutts? Yep, it's true. Look it up. Now you know. Fascinating. Well, it makes more sense when you realize that toots are the normal uh, method of payment. You earn toots, right? So what do you do with extra toots? You get turds! Y'all, I'm sweating. I'm gonna go grab an ice pack. No, because if I take the hoodie off, then my ear will start to hurt, and I can't have that. Okay? We're not gonna have that. So, this is what we're gonna do. Just this easy. out a beanie. You know, I, I, honest to God, don't even know where one, if one is on hand. That's what sucks. I'm really out of practice on my beanie collection. There's a card at the bottom jumping around? Where? Hold on. Oh, that Trazom. Yeah, that's a weird one. That's really, really weird. I don't know what's up with that one. What is that? Let's figure it out. Okay, we're good. I got ice everywhere. Okay. Okay. That actually was really nice. It helped a lot. Treble Clef, the favored clef of the primordial baboon Toot Seeker Tom. This clef represents light, but there can be no light without dark. Rimsky Korsakov, this Russian composer who infamously wielded two last names in order to double his power level, was a master of orchestration and could eat a whole lot of hot dogs, although the exact number is unknown. I don't understand why the obsession with hot dogs. I don't. But whatever. I'm here for it, man. Gustav Holst, this English composer best known for his orchestral suite, The Planets. Oh, I know that one also played the trombone professionally, which means he is worthy of our respect. Being English, he did not eat hot dogs. And I am one turd short of being able to make another card. But we're doing good. I might get my full collection today. All right, let's go. Look at all this stuff I haven't... Oh, wait. Can you... Wait, what? Who? Are... Oh, that's a male. I see. 
No, I like I like this one. She's good. What is this? Why is it locked? And what are these? How do I get all this? So much is unlocked. I don't understand. Okay, Sugar Plum Fairy, I have not even attempted. I have not even attempted it. Let's try it. Okay. Adjusting? Oh, yeah. The first trombone was invented in 20 million BC. Funny. I didn't know that. Wait, did I change my- Oh man, I'm not my tromboner. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Ah! Who's there? Oh, it's so bad. Oh, perfect though at the end there yeah! yes I got the B come on listen I think B is all right baboons Ooh, that's tar I'm gonna play these ones I have not even played long-tailed limbo let's go okay wait I need to fix my tromboner though there you go I like the white-haired tromboner there we go if you placed all of the trombones on Earth end to end, they would wrap around the solar system four times. Okay, here we go. We got this. Oh! There we go! Oh. oh, Jesus! Oh, come on! That was a good one! Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Whoo! The Entertainer. Oh, that's too hard. Skip to my loo. Mm. Let's do Star Spangled. There are more trombones on Earth than there are humans. What do you mean you're questioning the facts? This is a trombone game. They wouldn't lie about it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, don't butcher it. Oh, oh. 
Oh god. Oh no! Oh god, no! Get it together! Oh god! <laughs> hey, I got a B on it. That's pretty good. I'm fine with that. Oh man, gladiators. Oh no, an eight. Hava Nagila, I did not do good on that one. Well, let's just disrespect some more people. How about that? Whew, I need a drink of water. This is ridiculous, y'all. Let's go! The highest note on the playable trombones is so high-pitched that only certain species of bats can hear it. Hmm. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm happy with a Z on that one. Jesus. Oh, perfect. It was literally perfect. Amazing. <laughs> Who would try to play that on a trombone, first of all? William Tell? Oh lord. The Blue Danube? Okay, wait, I need to take a quick break and use the bathroom. And I want to at least play the songs that I haven't played and try and like put up a score on them because clearly I've been playing the ones that are easier for me. So uh, give me a minute, let me refresh, stretch my legs, try and, you know, compose myself and uh, I'll come back for a little bit more trombone champ fun, okay? So remember to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, take a moment, have a nice stretch, and I'll be right back, guys.
All right, y'all, I'm back. I had to change to a uh, thinner sleeveless hoodie. So I stopped overheating. Woo, Mr. Wellington, you like to come back, sir? Mm? William Tell, what's this one? Oh no, eight star, listen, y'all. It's gonna be impossible. Like, impossible. I need one of these thin Reese's cups to power me. Look how perfectly thin, yum. Let's go. That one's just as hard. Scabbard. That one's slightly better, but it's long. Holy wow. Great. Heavy on the slides and the dudes. I already um, got S rank on Zarathustra, FOMO. That's the first one I've gotten S rank on. It's also only one star. So I'm trying to get put up a score on these ones that don't have a, a grade yet. Beethoven's fifth. Oh, there's that's a good one. It's short. It's one of the most famous classical pieces of all time. This is true. And it's seven stars. Heavy on the fury. All right, let's go. Let's do Beethoven's fifth. William tells the Lone Ranger thing. We're going to do that one too. I'm going to do all the ones I haven't put up a score on yet. Let's go. We got this. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Perfect. <laughs> It's so bad. I'm just behind. I can't believe I got any perfects on that. Perfectos on that. Oh my god. I almost got a B, y'all. Holy moly. Woo! We got Scabbard, whatever that is. William Tell, Gladiators. Let's do Scabbard. That sounds fun. Takes over 3,000 tons of brass to produce a single trombone. Did you know that? Okay, here we go. Well, this is vaguely familiar, actually. 
Boy! Uh. Nope. Oh god. Oh, I'm off. Get it together. I ran out of air. Oh, my God. I ran out of air. I didn't realize you could do that. That's hilarious. So much for that strat. Boy, please be chewing on something that's yours. Perfect! I'm so good! A, just a natural tromboner. Hey, I gotta see y'all. That's average. What is that boy you chewing on right there? Is it a bone? Any slugs in that bone, boy? Let's check. Any slugs? Any slugs? No slugs. We're good. There's a big old nasty spot on it, though. Probably the one that was outside, boy. Jesus. Whew. William Tell. Let's do William Tell. Eight star. These are way out of my skill range, though, y'all. I'm I'm just trying them. In real life, there are over nine songs that feature a trombone. Amazing. I didn't know that. Cool. Oh, my God. I know it. Amazing. <laughs> I saw a perfecto. Yes! <gasps> Come on! Woo! Deserves another Reese's. Look who back.
gladiators. Jesus. Eight stars. Let's go. It takes 1,000 workers a full year to produce a single trombone. Amazing. <laughs> Come on, C! Oh, so close to the B! Come on, man! Come on! Alright, what ones have I not thrown up a score on? Here we go. Trombone Fuerte, Old Lang Syme. Oh my god. Jarabe, Tapataya. No, let's do Old Lang Syme. Let's do it. The trombone is related to the trumpet. They are cousins. <laughs> oh, oh god. Yes! I have the scrolling speed on 100. It's, it's what is default! Why? I don't want it on 100! I thought that was normal! The hell? What's default? Maybe that's a problem! Trombone Fuerte. Our sad attempt at composing a merengue song. Fast paced Latin American dance. Let's slow this one down then. How about that? But I think that's why I'm earning so many toots. Because I have it on fast. Whatever, I can do it. No, it's on. We're going to make this one slow. In England, trombone is spelled trombone. <laughs> Here we go. This is at 60%. Holy shit. Oh, 
Yeah! That that would be impossible on anything not. Yeah, see, I only earned two hundred sixty-seven toots. Whew. I want to try some of these other ones with a, a slower speed, but I want to also want to put up some scores on these ones. This Jarabe Tapatio. Yeah, now we're gonna stay on 60% for a while because I need practice. Okay? Some claim that Mozart's last words before dying were, at least I got to use the trombone. Here we go. Wait, did I miss it? Amazing! Mare on a slow scroll speed. Slower. This should be good. Muy bueno. Thank you, Sussy. I felt pretty good about it. This is hard. A student's trombone generally costs between 100 and 300, but a professional trombone can cost over two billion dollars. doing it this is so fun that's so fun this is so stupid yeah B baby I'm just in love with this stupid game okay now now that I've 
realize my scroll speed was on 100%. Maybe I should try and get some, uh, let's do ball game. Let's try and get some S scores on a, you know, better, like slower down. That's what I wanted to do is like do the hardest songs and then you dial it back. And then those easier songs are a lot easier. I'm, listen, let's be honest. I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. Not a great start. Not my best. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Ugh. Come on! Okay, I finally, towards the end, God. Yeah. Woo! B, B's the best I got. Ba I don't think I played baboons today. Let's try that one. This is a weird one. A professional trombone player is also known as a tromboner. What, what I, I was right. Of course. Okay, Baboons. This song is called Baboons. There we go. Oh God. So good. Long tailed limbo. The entertainer. Oh, yeah, this one's insane. Let's see if we can do it. 34 countries have outlawed the use of the trombone, and six countries playing trombone is punishable by death. Probably true. Da -da -na 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 -na. Here we go. Everybody get ready. Yep, just like that. Yeah. 
Perfect. Perfect. That's all I wanted. Skip to my loo. We gotta try O Canada again in honor of RJ. Let's do skip to Maloo. The trombone contains spit valves that allow you to blow gobs of your nasty spit all over the floor. Is that true? Tromboners out there? Oh god. <laughs> Perfect. That's right! Diabetes, take care, enjoy your, the rest of your day. I'm glad that this was able to brighten up your day a little bit. It's certainly done that for me. It genuinely just really makes me laugh and smile stupidly the whole time I'm playing it. It's so ridiculous. What a ridiculous game. Again, thank you to RJ City for gifting me this game. I would have never bought it for myself, ever. Never. I, I even saw like IGN was advertising it and I was like, really? Like, mm, I don't know about that. But it's so weird. It's got so many little weird, like, I don't know, like, things hidden and just, like, s the facts are weird. Uh, it's so strange. I feel like there's so much to unlock. And I, I just am so, like, fascinated by it. So let's, let's buy some sacks. See what new cards we got. Al Gray, Sergey. These are duplicates. Oh, hot dog. Yum. Are these beefy treats, sandwiches, or something else entirely? No one knows for sure, but one thing is certain they're every composer's favorite treat. Even if not eaten, simply holding these imbues one with power. And music. Music is what we call the sounds made by trombones. It's like hot dogs for your ears. It sounds really good, except when it sounds bad. Try to find music that you enjoy, and then listen to it a lot. This is good advice. Okay. Glenn Miller, that one. Yeah. Slide. Frank Sch Franz Schubert, I believe, is a new one. The Austrian composer with an immense body. Oh, no, no, I've read that one. And then Melba Liston, all duplicates, but we can make turds out of them, so it's fine. Tommy Dorsey, this American jazz trombonist, conductor, composer, and band leader, smooth trombone playing earned him the nickname the Sentimental Gentleman of Swing. As an American, he probably ate a lot of hot dogs. We've got that one. Uh, we've got that one. I think Igor Stravinsky. He could easily eat 35 hot dogs in one sitting, which may explain the power level evident in his music. Indeed. The mouthpiece. This is where it all begins. The part of the trombone where your mouth goes. Don't put your mouth on other parts without this. You've got nothing. If you ever see a mouthpiece in real life, try blowing air into it. Beautiful. Great advice. King Diabetes with a final super chat saying a hot dog is a sandwich. I find that just very incorrect. 
But, nevertheless, you are allowed to have your opinion, sir. The blue eyes, white baboon, we have that one. Ooh, uh, wait, we have this one as well. There's a lot of Russian trombonists. Roswell Rudd, legendary tromboner and composer who worked in free avant-garde jazz. Oh no, I read that one. And just basic trombone. Without the trombone, none of us would be here. It is the glue that binds us together and the force that keeps us moving forward. Often called the baboon of instruments. Is that why this game is obsessed with baboons? It is the alpha and the omega. Sack butt. We already did that one. Glissando. A glissando is a slide from one tone to another. The trombone is one of the few instruments capable of performing a true smooth glissando. Fascinating. Rachmaninoff. Oh, yep, I read that one. He had the long name. Don Drummond, legendary Jamaican ska trombonist with a troubled history of mental illness and murder, ultimately ending with his death at Bellevue Asylum in Kingston. Damn! Bass clef, mouthpiece, Arthur Pryor, the prodigious Missouri-born trombonist who wrote some of the most well-known trombone pieces. Oh, I've read that one. Tchaikovsky, I have that one. I've read it. He wrote the nut Nutcracker, as you're familiar, I'm sure. This guy, Max Tundra, I have that one. He's a, an electric composer and producer of bespoke soups. He made... In addition to Long Tail Limbo, he produced a trio of critically acclaimed albums which you should purchase immediately. Duplicates, duplicates, gonna have a lot of turds. I can tell you right now. Bobby! Ooh, what's that? The ancient Egyptian deification of the Hamadeus baboon, whose name translates to Bull of the Baboons. Or Chief of the Baboons. Get out of here, fly. I need my fly racket. I need my racket! Was it, He was a deity of the underworld and is very relevant to this trombone game. Alright. J.S. Johann Sebastian Bach, widely considered one of the most influential composers of all time, partially due to his Baroque compositions, but mostly because he invented the hot dog. I see. Uh, these two are duplicates. See, I don't consider a hot dog bun a folded piece of bread. It's a bun. Just like I don't consider a hamburger bun a piece of bread. I mean, it's a type of bread, but it's a bun. There's a difference between a bun and bread. Sorry. A loaf of bread does not make buns. Ooh, Polidoro da la Caravaggio. 16th century Italian painter. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. The finest, the first artistic depiction of a woman playing trombone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, brass, the most powerful element. Brass is used to create trombones and nothing else. To this day, scientists have no idea where brass comes from. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna be able to do it. Alright, let's turn up all these cards. Because I know I get something if I unlock everything. I'm certain of it. They wouldn't differenti differentiate the bun if they were the same. Only my opinion, though. I'm with you, queens. Very reasonable. Very logical. Hi, boy. How's my bubba boy? You decided to come back and make Orsi Vision great again, boy. Thank you. And now I want brats. Ain't that the truth? Can't beat good brats. I love good sauerkraut, too. Mm. I used to hate sauerkraut as a kid. Like, I hated it. Despised it with a passion. Kind of how I feel about coleslaw still, but I'm obsessed with sauerkraut. Like, good sauerkraut. Oh! I got really 
into like the sour pickle flavor, like that taste is something I crave so much. We call bread cakes over here. Interesting. Yeah, you call like biscuits cookies or biscuits or crackers. Like there's there's several that I found interesting, like the names. I'm like, oh, because I say biscuits and I'm talking about like a breakfast biscuit, but that's like a cookie, I think, right? In the UKs, am I correct on that? But when I say biscuit, I mean like, like, a, like biscuits and gravy. Which it would not be good. Cookies and gravy? No, 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 no. But listen, a good like a buttermilk biscuit and gravy? Oh yeah, with some good sausage gravy. Ho oh, ho ho. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh. You love coleslaw, can't stand sauerkraut. Yeah, I'm like the ex I'm on the exact opposite side of the spectrum for that. Like I would not eat sauerkraut or uh, 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 coleslaw if you forced me to. I don't know why, it's just not my thing. Can't do it. But ooh, man, I could eat kraut all by itself. And I used to hate it. That's the thing. I used to hate it. Wait, do I have duplicates of that? Yeah. Rhubarb, isn't that a green? Right? Is, am I wrong on that? That's a green, right? Okay. We should have enough turds now to make the cards we need. And what will we get? Tromboner cards! Collectible cards featuring famous tromboners, legendary composers, and all sorts of incredible things. Everybody loves these cards. Collect them all or suffer the tragic consequences. Well, that's what I'm trying to do, man. Doing my best. A trumpet. The coward's trombone. Beautiful. Last one. What do we get? The red eyes black baboon. One of the most powerful tromboner cards. The red eyes black baboon is a representation of the base clef as it relates to Bobby. The Egyptian deification of the sacred old world Hamadreus Bamboon. Hama... I'm a dryas. Well, shoot. Okay. Well, now what? Now I got everything. Baboon? What's a baboon? What's this do? Eh? Oh! What? Huh? What? Oh, the S's. I need four. I need three more. Damn. That's gonna be hard. Actual tips? I don't want those. <gasps> oh, I lit it! Oh! I found a secret! Greetings, noble tromboner. Thank you for summoning me. Huh? My name is, well, maybe some things are best kept secret for now. Oh my god! I'll assume you summoned me on purpose and weren't just mindlessly clicking the chaos candle. Well, what do you say, noble tromboner? Greetings! Only an inquisitive soul would find me here. Do you seek to become the trombone champ? Yup. Buddy, do you even really know what the trombone champ is? Nope. Well, you will in time. Yes, the baboons will show you the way. I can help you become the trombone champ, but I need magic to do so, and my magic requires sacrificing trombone cards. <gasps> Why does my magic require you to sacrifice trombone cards, you ask? Well, it's best not to ask these questions like this. Just go with the flow. Okay, I agree. Excellent. <laughs> yes. I currently require one Ramadang, Ramadang, Ramading Dong, and one. Can you give me these cards? Fine. I can I can turn them back. Yep. Perfect. This is amazing. I told you this game was weird, you guys. What did I get? 
Flick that chest! Ba 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 ba! I'm so excited! What is it gonna be? I need to know! Oh my god, I need to know! I'm so glad I found the secret! Y'all, this is amazing! The Silver Trombone! You played the video game a lot and unlocked a thing. Amazing. Thank you. Ah! Oh. Build a card. We gotta turn up all the cards we don't have. Or that we sacrificed. This one. Okay. What about this guy? Hi! What else you want, man? Let's continue! I require... Yes. Are you sure? Yep. No take backsies! <laughs> Look at him! It's terrifying! This is so good. Okay, okay. Okay. What did I get? Oh, <gasps> the red trombone. Oh my goodness. I'm excited about this. Just replace the cards. I was like, what am I gonna do with all these extra turds? Well, now I know. I knew there had to be ways to like unlock the stuff. It's so crazy. I love that they did that though, with a game that's so simple that they've made this like, I don't know. It's like, I feel like I'm, It's it feels like more than a game when you find secrets and stuff like that. Really very satisfying. And just like making you have to click on it so many times. I wanna see what else I can get from this guy. Hello again, when we first need, I said I needed tromboner cards to perform my magics. There's magic in these cards, but I cannot access the cards without you. He locked me in the chaos candle, you see, so I could not assist the baboons. I've spent so long locked within the candle that I've forgotten his name, or maybe he tampered with my memories. I do remember the knowledge of the legendary tromboner one day would find me. Could that be you? Could that be you? Yep. Whatever, let's continue. Take them. Yep. This is such a dumb, amazing game, right? I was so caught off guard by it. I'm like, it's so much better than just like, oh, Guitar Hero with a trombone. Like, so satisfying. Finding secrets like that, like, oh my God, dude. And now I gotta click this shit 99 times. My clicking finger's getting sore. Come on! Oh, they make you work for it! They make you work for it! Come on! Yay! What do we get now? The blue trombone! Beautiful! Alright, we're gonna replace these cards. Ooh, I'm about out of turds, y'all. Guess we'll have to play more songs. I don't know what to tell you. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, come here. Hello! Yep, still here, which means I need more cards. Currently require these, no problem. You sure you want to? Yup. Here we go! Give me the green trombone! You know that's what we gotta have. Come on.
I'm doing the double tap, like two fingers. Green? Yes! Uh, you know I'm switching to that one right away. Let's go. So good. Now I got no more turds, so if he needs cards I don't have, I can't do it right now. I feel the trembling. Do you feel the same? Something hiding within this great deck? Anyways, you require these. Take them. Let's go. Yep. I love it. It's so good. Beautiful. Come on. I don't need any more trombones. I have the trombone I want. The green one. We can stop. There it is. What else do you want? What do you want? You require... Got it. Take them. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, there's a baby video. I can't believe how many times they've got me to click on this chest. A polygon trombone. Pretty freaking cool. Not as cool as the green one, but cool. Come on, there can't be any more trombones than that, right? There we go. What else you want? I feel like our time together is reaching an end. I have one final request. I need one of every single card. Yep. Okay. Bye. Alright. Well, easy enough. We know what we gotta do. We know what we've got to do. Alright, I'm gonna play a couple more songs, y'all. Ridiculous. Okay, hey, I unlocked- What? You can play things other than the trombone? What? We gotta play a couple songs with the green trombone. You know this, right? Come on. Let's play... God, I bet I can get an S on God Save the King. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's go. X! How is that an X? Not even close. Not even as good as I've done before. Let's try it again. Is this not my country tis of the... Is it? See, it says it. the words at the bottom. Bye. 
Come on! No, I'm so close! <sighs> one more time. I can do this one. one ass so bad okay one more one more one more one more come on okay 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 I know I did it. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Do it for the queen! I did. Finally. Finally. Whew! Damn, I need... I like... I really wanted that. I really wanted that. Do it as I get a super chat. I, you know, I don't know what to tell you, Big Daz. I, I did it. I got it. We done. You know, Rosamund. What's this? The uh, this polka. A polka? Did we do a polka? I don't remember doing a polka this stream. Let's try it. First try, never die. The average baboon can live to be over three hundred years old. That's true. I did know that. Let's, this was just gonna be funny, not good. Thank you. 
Oh my god! Ridiculous. I got a B! I can't believe it! This is great! Alright, let's try and do an O Canada. I don't know what the fourth S is gonna- I don't know that there's any others that are as- Yeah, uh, maybe play ball. It's a three star two. With a little practice, I might be able to eventually get that. Let's try this one. Yes! I did it. I had to do it. I had to do it. Yes! I gotta try and do play ball to see if I can get the four S's and unlock whatever that baboon thing is. Like, I have to. Where's it at? Yeah. I think that's the other only easiest one. Let's go. The trombone is not related to the French horn. They are just friends. Prost! Here we go, here we go. Oh, this is not good. Oh my god, Orsi's dreaming, y'all. I can hear him. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh man, not my best, but... Oh my god, I can hear that baby bark. Not my best. Okay, it's gonna take me a little bit. Warm up, can you get a score on that? I didn't think you could get a score on that one. Maybe, maybe you're right. Let's try. If I can get the four S's, that'd be a great way to end. Prehistoric trombones were 40 feet long and could weigh over 600 pounds, wow. 
Here we go. I'm not good. I'm like behind. I'm missing. There we go. See, I'm, I lose it. Oy, oy, oy. I guess you can get an S on it. Holy moly. I'm not gonna anytime soon. All right. We'll just have to leave it to another day. Maybe sometime in the future, guys, maybe I'll get RJ City to play some trombone champ with me. Since he was the one that gifted me this game, I think he should have to do that. And I think it'd be a good time for everyone involved. Um, but I really, I do think this is a great place to wrap it up. I'm gonna cash in these other S's here. We got one there. Oh, just... Oh, one more to go! Can't wait. Can't wait. Alright, you guys. I'm gonna call it a day. What a wonderful return stream today was. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Thank you for hanging out in the chat room. Thank you for watching. Whether you're a member or you are not, I appreciate your watch time. Just remember to like the video. Remember to hit subscribe. And, uh, and thank you guys for supporting me and supporting Mr. Wellington in what we do, okay? Watching the shorts, watching the videos, watching replays, just being, you know, seeing the community posts, responding to them, commenting, just being engaged with my channel in whatever way you do it. I really do appreciate it, guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I will likely not be streaming tomorrow, even though I know it's been like a week since I streamed. Sundays are my day off, typically, so I'm just gonna kind of stick to that, and then we'll start Monday with a nice, you know, like a fresh week, right? Like normal. At least that's what I'd like to do. So, um, that's the plan. Thank you all. I hope everyone stays healthy, stays hydrated. Make sure you prioritize your sleep. Get a nice stretch in today. Treat yourself right. Treat yourself good. Do it for me. Have a moment and just stretch. It feels good to take care of yourself like that. All right, guys. So thank you again. I appreciate you all. And I will see you very, very soon.